Joining us now are members of the Pocatello Iwamizawa. Ima, Iwamizawa. 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 I'm going to keep working on that after, <laughs> after we're done with this interview. Um, so the Japanese sister city delegation are here. Thank you all for being here. Now, you guys just came back, and we now have some vis visitors from Japan. Heather, can you first talk a little bit about the delegation itself? Sure. So the sister city relationship was set up about 35 years ago. And so every year, we send a group of 12 teenagers, high school students from the Pocatello, um, Incom, McCammon area, go to Japan for two weeks. And then almost immediately afterwards, 12 of their students come and visit with us. And we have one, two of them that are here today. <laughs> so they, we all spent time in host families, lived with a host family for two weeks, and now these kids come and live with our families for two weeks. And one thing that you mentioned that's kind of special is that some of these girls stayed with parents there, and then right. now those same right. students are staying in these people. So kind of like you can share both families with each other. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I think, it's, I think it's really cool that they can, um, we can go over there and meet everybody and visit with them and get really close with them and then we come home and then they come back here, so it's really cool. I um, there's some people over there that I, they uh, that's the same thing. They they went and stayed over there and then their family came and stayed with them again. So, what are some of the things that you guys did over there? Mm -hmm. um, we went. They all ate over. fish. We lots ate of fish. Wow. <laughs> some of them. First time on an airplane. Yeah. They they learned showed a long ocean. airplane ride. Yes. Long airplane. And they learned calligraphy. Person. As you can see, they're dressed in the some yeah, of the traditional. Can you explain your, your outfits a little bit? <laughs> uh, well, Danielle's wearing something that they call a jimbe, which is a traditional um, summer yukata. It's a lot cooler. And then this one is more of the traditional with the the ob belt, and it's longer of a dress. But yeah. How did you guys prepare for your trip? Uh, we had weekly classes at City Hall, Japanese lessons. Lessons and culture and fundraising. It was about Lots a $2,500 plane ticket is what they had to earn the money to go. But these kids for a whole year spent that time earning that money. And But once they get there, they're then with the host families. And then the city over there hosts them and takes them on activities. And it's kind of interesting, in Iwamizawa, there is a, a park dedicated to Pocatello. There were trees that were planted 35 years ago. There's brick pavers that have the names of, of people that have come to Iwamizawa. So it's a real special relationship that I think a lot of people in this city don't know exists. And if you go to City Hall, as you walk in, there's a big um, glass case of all the gifts that have been exchanged over the year. And then, of course, there's a Kazuna garden out at the airport. And if you haven't been out there, it's, it's a destination of, of a, a true Japanese garden with the, the water elements and the rocks and, and Kizuna, I believe, stands for peace. Um, and so there's a real special connection with Japan here in Pocatello that I think a lot of people aren't aware of. And these girls got to see that. That's amazing. They did, firsthand. And what are a few things that the Japanese girls here now are going to be doing while they're with their well, stay? Well, so aside from living with a host family and, and experiencing American culture, shopping is big on the list. <laughs> um, we take them to Yellowstone. They go and they spend. That's a big on the list is going to see Old Faithful. They'll stay in a cabin in Island Park. We take them to Lagoon. Um, we'll take them to the Pizza Pie Cafe. I mean, just a lot of it is just coming here and experiencing. It's not so much just the... You you know, how much can you spend and, and, and the fancy stuff, it's just getting to experience a f an American family and American life here. And so they'll also do things here in and around Pocatello and um, tour the Brown. We, the city offers us a bus that's at our access and so it's, it works really well. So. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in you. and sharing the Appreciate journey with all of us.